Greetings YouTube, what a beautiful day it is in the uh, English countryside. Just a reminder that those carrier bags are there to stop the blades getting dirty when they're being manhandled, they will come off. Uh, firstly, just want to say that whenever the turbine gets left with the shenanigans on, uh, I always prop the tower up right up here and then let the winch down. You can see it's got a little bow in it, but that doesn't matter for the minute. Uh, the main job I need to do, apart from getting it up in the air, is to balance the blades. Uh, I put this bolt on here, but then I remembered it's got to be round the other side. Uh, it looks a bit strange and ugly, but it does the job perfectly because it can be bolted in, and then this can be moved up and down to exactly where you want it, and it'll have a slightly different effect. We've got the extra weight in the right general area, but this, I remember now, needs to be bolted on the other side. The good thing is that once that process of balancing them has been done they can come off so you can see the bay hub is actually dismantled so that's as far away from the as about eight inches uh, bench stairs maybe well maybe not I was thinking I might have to adjust the angle of the tower upwards which would then obviously involve dealing with this and having to change the stairs over here at the end what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to say one volume of the pulse on the line at the moment because obviously this is going to come off I'm just going to undo that bolt and we'll go all the way down and then we'll see what comes like because I do want to have the blades right here because that's all the blades are more comfy to the floor that's why I'm going to do anyway so let me just do that right now let's have a like for how snug that is so now we can see that would be running in the ideal position and we've got this extra collar uh, here which is just a insurance policy against anything like the bolt etc touching the front of the turbine because that has happened before so now that will have reduced the clearance so actually i think it's still enough i think that's good enough so for now i won't bother adjusting the struts i'm just going to lift the winch up and then put the put this prop we'll call it somewhere on the tail end to get everything perfectly horizontal uh, remember this was a job i had to do which i've done which gives us extra clearance because this was up here and if that was still up there then we'd have major problems but i feel quite good about that because i think that's enough clearance uh, ah another thing you may or may not have noticed is that due to the clearance issue i put the blades on the front of the hub which again isn't ideal but I think we'd be pushing it a bit if we brought them back so we'll, we'll run with that for now but it's always an option to unbolt the blade and then put it on this side should have enough clearance uh, yeah so let me just go and do that with the winch now that's propped up like that uh, you can see the winch needs to go up a tiny bit I wonder if the blades are going to start spinning on their own that would be cool uh, so yeah, you can see we just need to take this side up a bit and then the drive shaft's perfectly level. Uh, give me the juice, baby, give me the juice. That is hard to turn, that beast. That is hard to turn. I'm hoping my little uh, spirit level things fit in here. It looks quite cool, doesn't it, like that? Uh, and I can give the uh, bits I've painted a lick. Let's have a like for the homemade shizzle, if you haven't already liked for the... Uh, carrier bags, the double bearing, the epic struts, etc. Strange sounding aircraft that. I might be two helicopters flying together. So just a tiny pull of the winch and it's pretty much level. Looks like it works for the council. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, so I've just got to swap this bolt over to the other side and we'll see what's occurring then. I think they're pretty much spinning on their own now. I changed the weight over to the precise, sort of semi-precise place where I know it should be. We're getting a little bit of wind and you can see they're basically moving by themselves. The chain obviously isn't connected and the simple reason is this wouldn't work if the chain was connected because remember there's drag, there's inherent drag on the motor. so. I'll give it a tiny little push, we've still got to go back that way, so let me make a couple of adjustments. That's pretty much spot on, I think, at the minute. Let's give it a tiny little push. Oh, someone's off to bomb Iran. Sounds like F-16. Those bolts are in super tight. 
these uh, the bearings haven't been fully done up yet because I was expecting to find out the blades wouldn't fit and have to take these off but I shouldn't have to do that uh, the tail isn't all the way in uh, man that hole there was a pain in the ass to drill absolute massive pain in the ass but you can see there is very little room there whoops see there's very little room there she's still going we'll just see where it stops and then what it does because obviously the winds hitting it from behind me to the turbine face on almost so you would we expect it to have a bit of move around in a clockwise direction now let's see what it does so yeah that's not quite done yet because that shouldn't be rolling back right more adjustments I'm pretty happy with that. Thinks about as close as I'm going to get. Uh, what I have to do now is uh, get my son to take the blades off and then the tail out and then uh, change the orientation of the turbine because I need to double check the drive shaft has an equal distance on the left and the right. So just get that sorted. The good news is they won't have to be interfered with again. Uh, and yes, I'm going to call it a day on the video for now. And the next part, I'll just be making sure this is slap bang in the middle at the top and the bottom. We can measure it in two places here and here.